We are following a breaking traffic alert that involves a car going off the side of the Buckman Bridge, 295 northbound. Joining me on the phone, FHP's Dylan Bryant. Good morning. Appreciate your time doing a very busy morning. Could you please tell us what happened that had the car going off the side of the bridge? Yes, sir. Uh, about 3.30 this morning, uh, preliminary investigation showing that the a First Coast Road Ranger truck was patrolling the interstate system, as they normally do to assist disabled vehicles and help out on the roadways. Uh, at that point, made contact with the rear of another vehicle that we do believe was a Toyota sedan. And from impact, it uh, put that other vehicle, that possibly the Toyota, uh, into the water. And unfortunately, no occupants were seen uh, exiting that vehicle. So at this point, we do believe it's a fatality. We have crews on the scene, numerous agencies working uh, to make recovery efforts of that vehicle. And then we can confirm the, the number of occupants inside. Okay, so we don't know how many people were in the car. Has there been any no, sign no. Of, of the vehicle itself? We have, uh, as of about 25 minutes ago, we, we did locate the vehicle. Uh, it did take some time with uh, getting resources to the scene and so forth. Uh, once the vehicle submerged, uh, the vehicle did travel from uh, the initial point of entry, but the vehicle was located. We do have record, uh, uh, record companies and, and uh, some, some waterborne assets with Florida Wildlife Commission, as well as uh, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Um, with vessels on scene to assist with that. And uh, once again, once we hook up the vehicle, divers are in the water currently as we speak, we'll, uh, we'll remove that vehicle from the St. John's River. You mentioned that the vehicle did travel. For people that are unfamiliar, the St. John's River does have a very swift undercurrent, and even something that is as heavy as a car uh, or, or a sedan or, or an SUV can be moved by those currents. They're so swift. That is correct. Uh, you know, as the vehicle enters the water, it doesn't... Uh, you know, uh, immediately submerged, it'll take some time. So that, that vehicle will float for a small portion as it goes under. And then, of course, as you mentioned, the current can certainly uh, move things underneath the water line. So um, at that point, or at least at this point, uh, we're collecting and analyzing evidence there on scene. Uh, the Road Ranger was not injured in this crash. He's provided an interview uh, and will be released. Um, but our biggest thing right now is the recovery of the vehicle and, of course, identification of any victims and bringing this uh, investigation uh, forward. Can, can you tell us if the divers have actually seen anybody inside the vehicle? Uh, no, sir, I cannot. I have not spoken directly with the divers. All right, can you tell us how long it may take to bring the vehicle to the surface? That's uh, based on the, the complexity of the positioning. Um, well, last I heard, it was uh, near one of the bridge pylons, so I don't believe it's going to be traveling any further or providing any kind of safety issues, but that would be a comment that the dive team would need to... Uh, to verify and provide additional information with but currently while that's going we have the two lanes of the two outside lanes of 295 currently blocked those will be blocked for some time uh, for those recovery efforts but again once we uh, have everything together and, and collected we'll certainly open that up as quickly as possible right and we can see that those lanes are moving right now as we do have a, a live picture from our dot camera up you can see that the two northbound lanes uh, on the uh, outside of the bridge are closed right now with emergency vehicle activity presumably those lanes will be closed for some time yes sir we do believe probably a couple hours um, again it really just depends on the amount of time it takes for the recovery efforts of that vehicle to bring it safely um, you know, back onto the street, you know, we, we want to do so and, and take the, the, take the time with it. That way there's no damage to the structure, but of course, no injury to the, uh, to the recovery personnel. And of course, trying to keep it as safe as possible for the motoring public trying to get by. So we do encourage everybody to pack a little extra patience if that is their route. Um, while traffic, as you mentioned, um, Bruce is flowing, it's, uh, certainly a delay. Um, so if they can seek an alternate route, we would, we would encourage that as well. All right, and uh, Amanda will be providing some alternate routes here coming up. And, and for drivers who have yet to uh, embark on the Buckman Bridge, keep in mind there are emergency vehicles out there, so use an abundance of caution when traveling. Dylan Bryant, thank you very much for your time. We'll be right back. Thanks.